Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos of a walk down in Sussex near to the South Downs and a lovely walk from Coltishaw Bridge which is just south of Petworth up through a mixture of woodland, heathland, open downland and taking in a fantastic conservation area and heading then downwards again to the village of Sutton where I'm sure we'll find a pie and a pint at the White Horse and this particular video will conclude at that point and then in part two you can follow me along as I head to Bar Lavington and then up through the woodland quite a high steepish walk up to Bar Lavington down up on the South Downs and then making my way steadily back down to the village of Duncton and Duncton Mill where we might get to see some lizards We'll then start to retrace our steps really to through the Burton Hall estate and then back to Coltishaw Bridge. Morning everybody, it's uh, just after nine o'clock Monday morning and I'm about to set off on this uh, walk. I've got a route planned, taking in parts of the Serpent Trail and one or two other paths and uh, I've got a few variations in mind as well. So I'm just setting out from the Badgers. The Badgers is behind me. This is where I'm staying. And at the moment, it looks, it looks good. Weather looks good. So I've just made my way up the uh, rise above the uh, river Rother from the Badgers Inn. Just up the main road here. You've got to be really careful. Uh, walking on this road there's sections where there's no no path and it's it is an a road and the traffic's coming quite fast but importantly I've spotted I've spotted where I need to turn off onto um, the serpent trail I wasn't quite sure there's no sign on this side but I had a wander around the post and there's a, a sign here that's where the serpent path goes off to the heading west but I'm gonna head east this way and uh, all being well from now on the walking will be over bridle way footpath uh, perhaps some some minor lanes but i'm uh, quite looking forward to this because it's um you know it's new territory it's something a bit different and it's just gonna be interesting to see what what turns up very springy underfoot, beautiful woodland. With a few birds in here, I think some jays, I suspect. And this uh, serpent trail is certainly well named because when you look at the map it does make a serpentine covering of uh, large parts of Sussex so an interesting path and I, I, I think probably created partly to take walkers away or take some of the traffic as it were off the South Downs path so I'll, I'll walk along quite a bit of this and uh, see how much climbing and so on I do later on but at the moment for um, Monday the 5th of July it's a lovely summer's morning not too hot sunshine but the chance of a few showers later I've emerged from the uh, first set of woodland and uh, just heading out into the open countryside now. Good views of the South Downs ahead. So, uh, yeah, decent views. And depending on how I'm feeling, I shall walk out a bit higher later on, probably up towards the top of these hills ahead of me here. Just walk down 
the hill from there and I'm heading across to Burton Park. Well, I guess that must be the main house at Burton Park, the yellowy creamy house just up the hill there. Lots of horses around here. It's good horsey territory. Uh, now there's a decision to be made. So what's it say here? Serpent Trail head route. I think that's the way to go. So I'll follow the Serpent Trail for a little way. Some lovely, lovely pied horses. I like this spotty one. He's a terrific one. <laughs> Certainly a, an idyllic spot here. Just um, strolled up from, well, just crossed a small stream and then you, you find a sort of uh, hamlet like this. I'll need to refer to the map to check its name. Uh, but a very attractive, very attractive spot. And these, um, I, I don't know what you call them really, arts and crafts style houses. Some of them are thatched along here. So let's just check them going the right way. Yeah, Serpent Trail, Burton and Chingford Ponds, West Sussex Literary Trail. Yeah, so I'm going the right way. Obviously on the other side of Burton House now and just across a, a stream and you get to the, the lake. Well, I think there's a series of lakes and streams here according to the map. So I think I'm in the right place. Very idyllic. Over on this side we've got, we have a babbling brook. So a bit of um, sort of marshy land there on the left. Plenty of coots out there. Can't see anything else too, too remarkable. Coots and possibly some more hen. I should think there are what they are over there. Whether they're grey lags or what they are, some geese or it's very hard to tell what they are from here. Anyway, some ducks and things. Ducks of various sorts. If in doubt, say that they're mallard. I'm at a place called Sutton End and I've uh, I did do a bit of map checking a few minutes ago just to make sure I was on the right route uh, but I, I was I made sure I was in the right place and then I've made this turn to follow the serpent train serpent trail um, further east and and it should go up to uh, some viewpoints and a site of some tumuli and so on so I'm making really good time it's uh, 10 past 10 and I wasn't sure what time I'd, I'd get to this point it's, it's, it's always difficult to judge when um, you're not familiar with the territory I mean you can estimate things of course but if you're not familiar with the territory and then you're not sure how much map checking you're going to need to do um, and of course how much filming I'm going to do so uh, so yeah, so I'm on the right the right road and this is one of the places I thought well I could I could just carry on straight ahead down to the village of Sutton um, for for the white horse but I'm way way too early <laughs> way too early for that which is which is good which is great um, that was one of my sort of escape routes I suppose um, or one of my possibilities but given that the weather is so good and at the moment I feel feel pretty good. So we're going to carry on up the up the hill a little bit further. We well, just got up to the uh, minor road. I'm just checking the traffic, and then we'll see which way we go. I think I think the path, the Serpent Trail, is going to take us now sort of across here um, and up to the top. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to head up that way. So I think. What I'll do is I'll head up there, find a bit of shade. That's when I'll have my early 11s, um, have a cup of coffee. Different sort of terrain here. It's described as acid heathland or acid 
moorland. So it's obviously still um, still on the chalky soil, but it's a conservation area in terms of preserving the orchids and the plants that grow here. There's um, there's a plant here which I, I suppose is a form of I don't know what it looks like. Well, there's obviously heather. Uh, or one form of heather and then there's these um, very delicate purple flowers just here yeah but it's it's just um, slightly different we got out of the woodland and we're obviously just below the uh, the main part of the downs well, this is great it's a revelation I, I wasn't expecting it to be like this it's particularly nice as the weather is so good. So that's an advantage. So just push through the, uh, the woodland. And what I wasn't expecting to find was um, somebody's house up on the top here. It's almost like um, something out of Thomas Hardy's The Woodlanders, you know, something something like that it's uh, <laughs> it's just hidden away up here but it's obviously a you know a well used uh residence yeah so i've just come down off the heathland had a very pleasant break for a cup of coffee good drink of water and uh one of these breakfast bars that my wife recommended to me it was really really good actually really tasty quite, quite a nice sort of moist sort of flapjack type bar really good so I'm heading southwest now along a bridleway towards the village of Sutton. So running roughly southwest, not on the Serpent Trail anymore, but sort of running parallel to where I walked up this morning or a little bit earlier on this morning. So just heading on towards Sutton. And uh, it continues to be very, very good. Very good walking, very quiet. It's certainly really good today. It's, it's warm. I feel quite hot I've got no idea what the temperature is probably about 70 ish something like that it feel, feels roughly like that so quite warm for walking in but there's a there's a little bit of a breeze every now and then which is helpful and it's so peaceful So just emerged from the uh, the woodland and the bridle way that's brought me down to the, the lane here. Always fascinated to find these real old fashioned signs. You see them all over Sussex. So it's got the West Sussex County Council symbol at the top. And uh, Sutton to the left, Bigner to the right. <laughs> 